The Steam Deck is great. Everyone knows the Steam Deck is great. It lets you play your PC games anywhere. On the couch, on the chair, on the other couch, on the chair on the porch, even when you're lying down on the couch. Part of the Steam Deck's appeal is the value. It's one of, if not the cheapest entry points into PC gaming. With the purchase of this one device, you can have access to the greatest library of games known to man. And you can play everything from the lowly indie gems to the latest and greatest bombastic AAA games. Uh, maybe. However, everyone likes saving money. You like saving money, don't you? Yeah, you do. As cheap as the deck is, a great way to save money on the hardware of the deck is to buy a cheaper low-end deck and upgrade the drive inside it. You can buy a 512GB deck or a cheaper 256GB deck or even a super cheap 64GB deck and that internal storage might not seem like enough, but buying your own drive and upgrading it yourself is a great way to spend the bare minimum to get a great Steam Deck setup. And, as a side bonus, the drive that's in your deck can be used for other stuff. You get an upgrade and you get a spare drive. It's a double webby. This is my Steam Deck. It's a 512GB LCD Steam Deck. And that 512GB is getting a bit tight if you know what I mean. So this thing is going to get a bit of an upgrade today, and I figured, hey, since I'm doing it, why not take you along with me and show you how it's done? I spoil you. You know that? The drive that I'm going to be using to upgrade my Steam Deck is this, the Lexar Play 1TB NVMe SSD. Lexar sponsored this video and supplied the drive just so I could do this and make this video for you. So thanks for that, Lexar. I'll tell you more about the drive a little bit later in the video. So let's quit dilly dallying, as my mom would say, and let's do, do, do the thing that we're, we're here to do. Uh, so you're going to need a few things to do this upgrade. You're going to need some screwdrivers, Phillips number zero and number one. And if you have an OLED deck, you'll need a T6 star screwdriver. Or you can get a kit like this one, which is just a cheap little electronics repair kit that I bought on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description below. You'll also need a pry tool like a guitar pick or a bank card in overdraft or an opening pick from your kit. And you'll need some tweezers, either your mom's eyebrow tweezers or something like this from your kit. And if you're a pro tech dweeb, you'll want to ground yourself either by using an anti-static wrist strap that you can buy, or you can just touch an unpainted metal grounded object like the metal case on your PC. And you'll need the drive, of course. Specifically, you'll need an NVMe SSD of the size 2230. That's the little guys. That's the size that's in the deck. This one is the Lexar Play Drive, and there's a link to this below as well. And you're going to need a spare SD card to hold and reflash the recovery image. It needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. And alternatively, you can use a USB drive as long as you have a USB-C connector. The first step is to prepare your deck, emotionally and physically. Eh, don't worry, buddy. This isn't gonna hurt. I'll be right here the whole time. I'll take care of you, I promise. It's good practice to drain your deck to about 50% capacity before doing this procedure. And Valve suggests that you enable battery storage mode, which will prevent the deck from booting accidentally while working on it. So I'll show you how to do that. First, you need to boot into the BIOS by powering down your deck and then turning it on by holding the volume up and power button at the same time for about a second and then release the buttons. The deck should boot into the BIOS and in here you can use the D-pad to navigate to the setup utility. Press A and then go into the power menu and select battery storage mode and select yes to confirm. The deck should power down and now you're ready to start digging. First, remove the SD card if you have one in your deck. There are eight screws on the back of the deck. You'll want to remove those. And now we start prying. Run your pry tool around the lip on the outside of the shell. Start near the bumper and just take it slow and be careful. Pry it off and then set it aside. Next, you'll need to take off the motherboard cover. If you have an older deck, yours will look like this, and one of the screws will be hidden under this little piece of foil, which you can pull off. And if you have a newer deck, yours will look like this, and you can remove the screws and the cover will lift up. And then we need to unplug the battery, which you can do by pulling out the tab right here. Once that's done, you're good to remove the SSD. Unscrew the screw and then lift the SSD and slide it out of its home. Easy stuff. 
Oh, and by the way, you see this little jacket on the outside of the SSD? Isn't it cute? Well, that's an anti-static cover and we'll need that, so take it off the old SSD because we'll slap it on the new one. Speaking of which, the SSD that we're going to be using today is this. It's the new Lexar Play 2230 NVMe SSD drive. Isn't that something? Yes, it is. This thing is in the M.2 2230 form factor, so it's perfect for devices like the DEC or the ROG Ally or any other device that uses these teeny tiny little cute 30 millimeter drives. This thing uses a PCIe Gen 4x4 connection, so download speeds will be as fast as the DEC will allow. Not only that, but they're pretty proud of this SLC dynamic cache acceleration, which basically means that like bursts of incoming writes are handled more quickly. They're offloaded to the cache so that you don't notice any delay. It's rated for a max sequential read of up to 5200 megabytes per second and writes of 4700 megabytes per second, with a random read and write speed of up to 800,000 IOPS, whatever that means. It probably means your games load fast, which is good. One thing that does make me honestly want to recommend this drive is that it has a five-year warranty, so at least you know you're not going to be out of a drive if something goes bad. And that's that. Lexar sponsored the video, so thanks Lexar, and that's the drive we're going to be using Using, and let's proceed, shall we? So now you're ready to install your new SSD. Shove that drive in your M.2 hole, and then the rest is the same steps that we did to take it apart, but backwards. You just screw it down, plug the battery in, put the motherboard cover on, screw the screws, and slap the rest all back together. Easy stuff. This new drive doesn't have anything on it, so now we need to install SteamOS onto this thing. To do that, you're going to need to download the installer image from the Valve website, and then you'll need some software to flash the image. I used Rufus. Links to both of these in the description below. Shove that micro SD card into your computer, or use a dongle, or whatever, and start up Rufus. Make sure that it is selected in the drop-down list. Do not select the wrong drive or you will lose data. You have been warned. Under this boot section here, make sure that it says disk or ISO image, and then click the select button and choose the image file that you downloaded. And then when you're sure that you've done everything right, click start and it will flash the image to your SD card. And when it's done, you can safely eject your SD card. And now we need to boot to the recovery image. Shove the card in the micro SD card hole on your deck. And since we're in the battery storage mode to boot this, you're gonna need to plug it in with your deck's power supply. And then turn on the deck by holding volume down and power button and let go of it when you hear the chime and then you'll be in the BIOS and in here you can open the boot manager and in here you can select the SD card. And then you'll be taken to a sort of desktop mode and one of the shortcuts is called re-image Steam Deck. That's the one we want, obviously. Accept the prompts and then reboot the deck. Once you're booted into the normal Steam Deck setup, that's it, you're done. Yeah. And now you can just use your deck normally but enjoy having a ton more storage. I love having a big old SSD in my devices because I could just pack them full of games, obviously. This Lexar drive is perfect because it's super fast. As long as you have fast internet, you'll be able to download at the Steam Deck's maximum bandwidth. And the games load up super fast too, way faster than just using a one terabyte micro SD card or something. That SLC dynamic cache is a big help when loading up games with lots of reads and writes. The drive is just awesome, although you'll still suck at games. It can't help with that. Make sure you check out the link below if you want one, and thank you Lexar for sponsoring the video. I hope you found this useful and enlightening and informative and all that. If you like this video, then check out this video, my review of the new OLED Steam Deck. That's a good video if I do say so myself. There's a link on the screen right now and down in the description below, and you can go watch it now because we're done. I'm TechDweeb, thanks for watching. Bye bye